we've got uh, Mrs. Beard to thank for today's video because she spotted this one on Facebook and without hesitation booked us in. So uh, what is this, like a, a, a metre of mac and cheese or something? Yep, metre of mac and cheese. And what did they, it's, it's meant for two people, but you said that I could do it solo. What did the woman say to you? Wow, he is a brave soul. And I put, either brave or stupid. <laughs> but we will see. <laughs> yeah, stupid, I'll go stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so it's rude to be fiddling around on Tinder next to your long term partner. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> oh, was it Mahjong or something? No, no, it's. Scrabble? Should we play today's hurdle? I don't know what that is, but yeah, okay. You have to guess the song. Uh, sexual Marvin Gaye, Sexual Healing. Baby, I can't hold it much longer. It's getting softer and softer. <laughs> it's funny because it's accurate. <laughs> That's it. Give it away the big sign. I believe my secretary. Um, called or messaged. <laughs> oh, it's dr drinking's cheating. Yeah. Drinking is cheating. Yeah. Joking, you can't drink. I was gonna say, I'm <laughs> choked to death. And you know what? That toilet's one of the cleanest toilets I've ever seen. It is a clean toilet, yeah. Or right, it is for now. Don't say it. <laughs> right, I don't know how well you can see that, but this is what we're doing. It's uh, a meat or a mac and cheese, which seems like a bit of an odd way to measure food length rather than weight, especially when it's. A soggy food like mac and cheese. I've made it a bit easier because right. it, it just seemed like nobody's going to do it. So we're going to go with just still 25 minutes, but no bread on top. Oh, I like. I was looking forward to the garlic bread. I don't think you're going to manage it, but you know. <laughs> can I have the garlic bread anyway? Can um, I? Can I elect to have it? I don't. I don't really want it to be made yeah, easier. If you want? How do you do this? I'll, do you, yeah, do you need I'll, to lay down and yeah. meditate for a minute. <laughs> I don't need to meditate. Where are you gonna put it? I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in this big stretchy belly of mine. Right. You think I'm going to be able to do it? No. no! I'm a little bit worried that you've seen my stuff and you still don't think I'm gonna do it. It's, it's just a lot of food. Yeah. I think we're even talking about changing time limit. I'm just... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. Good lord, that is absolutely <laughs> flipping massive. It's a lot nicer than mine. Here we go. That is huge, yeah. I don't, I'm kind of, I'm speechless. You've got to eat it. <laughs> Not with bare hands though, I've got your knife and fork here. Yeah. Oh, knife and fork? Yeah, and a spoon. You sure you've seen my videos? It's in a drain pipe. Yeah, it's, it's actual. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Does that look? It does, yeah, that is, I like that. How, do you know how many pounds it is? No, we haven't weighed it. Yeah. But. Just a lot. Right, we're at a place called um, Wren's Pantry today, which is in Withensea. And with, does it have a special name or is it just um, the meter of mac and cheese challenge? Meter of mac. Meter of mac? Yeah. Makes sense. Time is the biggest concern for me because it is a lot of food. Um, 25 minutes and if you finish, you get a t-shirt, spot on the wall of fame and the meal free. Yes. <laughs> right, in that case, without further ado, this is the meter of Mac challenge. Who's oh. gonna? Oh, right. Oh, he's not getting his beer. Oh, that's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is still really hot. Is it yeah. delicious though? <laughs> it is pretty delicious, yeah. <laughs> I mean, give me a chance. <laughs> it's too loud. We're so happy. Welcome back to another episode. Strap yourselves in for this one. It's got more cheese than a Jackie Collins book. No, Ain't got time to chew. I'm gonna have to save the bread to the end. I'll see when I make it. If I don't make it, then Mrs. Beard will make light work of the uh, the garlic bread. Mrs. Beard. Unfortunately, there's no need for that. Surely there's some esteem in being a. Uh, Carnally entangled with the country's most recognizable gut bucket. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the cons outweigh the pros. Anyway, on the menu today, it's a meter of mac and cheese. 
topped with some herbs, crispy bacon, and accompanied by garlic bread. All served out of a drain pipe. Quite literally, a, an actual physical drain pipe. <laughs> I might need uh, a couple more of yeah, these. Yeah, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you don't want mac and cheese sticking in your beard. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Beard rank. I, I should really be bringing my own beard rank to stuff like this by now, but I don't know, it always seems to slip my mind. Thank you. It's really, really hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better hot than cold though. Anyway, let me try and explain the proposition on this one because there are two ways you can actually do this challenge. Either you can do it as a team of two, you get 15 minutes and whoever reaches the middle first is considered the winner. They get a spot on the wall of fame and a t-shirt or you can do it solo you get 25 minutes, and if you're successful, you get the meal free, a spot on a different section of the Wall of Fame, but the same winner's t-shirt. Weird, but I, I don't make the rules. I was worried when we were taking the pictures, the thumbnail at the beginning, that it, it would have cooled down and it'd be too hard to eat, but it's still red hot. <laughs> yeah, the toughest part really was dealing with the temperature, which is usually the case if you start eating something like noodles or pasta too early. Still, rather that than eating the whole thing when it's quite cold, we're moving the garlic bread around now, which actually, the owner of the restaurant said they were removing from the challenge because, quote, it makes it impossible. But for me, the rule should be like chipped into stone, not changed after the fact. So I said, nah, give me the real deal, bread included, consequences be damned. Oh no, so, this is not me cheating, that's a little bit of foil which I've, in the act of scraping, I've, uh, I've, I've taken it off the bottom, so just so you know. Yeah, always a risk when there's foil involved. Oh man, I'm really starting to sweat now. It still tastes good though. It's a good sign. I don't think you want to see that. I've got really hairy nipples. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, I should probably have warned the, uh, the people who might be eating while watching before I made that rather descriptive admission. <laughs> It's true though, I, I used to shave my torso, but Mrs. Beard likes a, a hairy chest, so that's a compromise I have to tolerate. The take home is, uh, don't panic, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not going to take my shirt off. <laughs> I look really red. Am I really red? <sighs> <laughs> I don't suppose I could get um, a Diet Coke or something like that, anything sweet yeah, and can. fizzy. Yeah. I might have to take the cap off any second, I'm overheating. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's all right, don't worry about it. That San Pellegrino? That's the posh stuff? Tori Tango. <laughs> Tori Tango. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I get the feeling it might be lost on the, the international viewers, though, sadly. Can you tell by looking at him what he's starting to... Mrs. Biz getting the Spanish Inquisition here. I feel like, you know when you're in the, back in the day, like in the, I don't know, like 17th century, they'd have freak shows. I feel like you're my, you're like the freak master, and you're telling them all why I do what I do. That's what it does. Why did you find him? <laughs> And who paid for the fast meal out? <laughs> it was me. I paid. But uh, Mrs. Bird's a cheap date. Not for the little. Thank you. Really the That's not the adjective most people use. But thank you. Hear that, Darren? I, told, I always told you I was phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I always suspected I was phenomenal from a young age. Nice to finally get objective confirmation uh, of the fact from a completely unknown by standard though, that, that means a lot. <laughs> so your official title, what are you, the, the, the beardy? <laughs> my official title, I wish it was the beardy something, but uh, my channel's name is Beard Beats Food. Yeah, quite the opposite of an official title in fact, but you know, it sounds quite catchy. We're doing all right here though. I mean, look at that, we're almost done with the, the actual mac and cheese. I try to think how much foil I'll show you. <laughs> when I go to the airport next week, you know, to the scanner. Yeah. I'm just gonna start <laughs> yeah, I, I know I just got back, but um, I'm already planning the next adventure. So, 
hopefully any tinfoil I've consumed is, you know, reasonably low on, uh, on tin. <gasps> hey, get to enjoy some garlic bread now, Mrs. Bird. You're jealous. Oh, garlic bread, fool. Oh yeah, the garlic bread. Let's see if it does, in fact, make the whole thing impossible. To be fair, I mean, nobody's even got close to this as a team, so I can see why they might have wanted to make it a little easier. But what can I say? Man's a professional. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yes, referee, do you want to come and take a look? I don't know how long I've got left. Two minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, Two minutes. There's one bit of mac and cheese left, as far as I can see. Where is it? To your right, to your right. There you go, good. Oh, well, there we go. He's done it. Congratulations, young man. Amazing! Oh, 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 Thank you very much. You are welcome. You are very welcome. Thank you for coming. So, do you have a dessert menu? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cheesecake? Oh, I'd love what a slice of cheesecake, yeah. I, I kind of I've forgotten what it was actually called. Some kind of nugget, golden nugget cheesecake or something. Uh, the Londy caramel cheesecake is biscotti. <laughs> I've never had like a, a round of applause on the way out.